Can I have a paper copy? Yeah, of course. Okay. Hey, everybody on Zoom. Uh, this is Representative Marsh. Lino is downstairs, and we will call the meeting to order as soon as he gets up here. I apologize for the delay. And we can't hear you, by the way. Yes, I hear you. Melissa, would you put a copy of those in my box, please? Yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. I have no idea what Bill's doing. I like that idea. It's more personal. To do what? Be on Zoom. See? Yeah. Be on Zoom well, plus, you person. see who raises their hands. <laughs> uh, now that they brought that monitor up close, I can see it. But oh, you I couldn't do that if somebody was sitting over there. There. I got a mute. So, Ed, since you're doing the setup, do you want to put that in the middle of the head table? <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Lino. Good we told the folks that we were delayed until you got upstairs, so. Okay, I got stopped in the hallway. We figured something like that. Yeah. Well, thank you for waiting. Always happy to. I anticipate this will be a quick meeting. Good. Chairs. I hate those things. Tell us what you want to say. I don't just want to draw my helmet. I appreciate these chairs. All right, talk to me. Page 7. Yep. This is the error. And this is the corrected one, which was done the next day. So it takes this money and it puts it in the proper line. In the proper line. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. So we don't need to identify that now? <laughs> we, we need this. We, this is how it should be. There should be nothing in that line. Okay. So we need to fix this so that we don't have to do a line item transfer. That's later. right. That's right. That's all you have to do. So that's a motion. Is it fixed now? It is. She did it on the 25th. But do we have to pass a motion to fix it? It's what, what you're looking at here is wrong. Yeah, but did we vote it? But did we vote it this way? We, voted we didn't vote it this way. We voted it correctly. You did vote it correctly. Then yeah. we don't have to do anything. Right. Right. So it's just an office error. Right. Okay. As long as you're Sorry. good, as long as you're good with the, the adjustment, I'm good with it. Someone to join us. I'm good with it. You want to get a step off? You present a bill. Sure. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll get started. Um, sorry for the delay. Um, and um, click call the roll so we can have a attendance. Of course, can everyone hear me over Zoom? Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah. Representative Marsh. Present in person. Representative Deshaies is present and in person. Uh, is Representative Bucco there? I don't think so. Uh, Representative Cordelli. He's in finance. He's in finance. Here in my home in Tuttenbrook. Representative Crawford. Uh, present here, here at home in my office. Representative Nelson. Here in my home in Brookfield in my main case. Representative Kinnark. Here in my home in Freedom in my study. Representative McConkey. Here, present in my office. Representative Burroughs. Here in my house in Bartlett. Representative McDonald. Present. Representative Woodcock. Here in Santa Conway with my dog. Representative Umberger. Ullabach. Yeah, it's not going to be <laughs> here. She's in finance. Okay. Representative McAleer. 
here in Jackson alone. Representative Smith? Here, home alone. And Chairman Avalani? Present. We have 13 people present, which is a quorum. Thank you. Call the Pledge of Allegiance. John, you want to lead us off? Representative McDonald, you want to lead us off? Our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This is a 324 and there's a newer one than this. Going to be getting to the budget in one second as soon as we pull up the new. When did you send it, Mel? Uh, sent it out on Saturday to the delegation. Yeah. The expenditure budget worksheet is March 26, 2021. <coughs> is the date on it. Do we need to approve the minutes from last meeting? Yeah, after we're done with this. Okay. Yes, I have that up now. Thank you. Let's just peruse it real quick. is correct on the new equipment on the new on, on the 26th is not muted. We can hear you breathing. It's Representative Woodcock is one. Thank you. Well, I'm glad, glad he hasn't stopped breathing. And Mr. Aldridge, you're not muted either. Yeah, that's actually a good sign. <laughs> 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 it's hard to do CPR through Zoom, too. <laughs> yeah, but you can get paid for it, Jerry. <laughs> uh, does that tell health? I don't know. We could try going, but it's not going to be very effective. <laughs> I thought you didn't get paid if you lost them. Uh, uh, unfortunately, that's not true. It depends upon whether they're private pay or not. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, with private pay, it's harder to get it, yeah. Uh, that, that's where Mark has a harder job. When Mark's, Mark has a problem with his work, he probably doesn't get paid when we do. They still pay us. That ain't fair, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I just said that just for you, Mark. You're right next to me on my Zoom screen. One of these days we'll be in the same room together. That'll be nice. So hopefully it's soon. Yeah. No more COVID money. Yeah, hey, I just got my second injection. <clears throat> Which vaccine did you get, Representative Kinnerick? Uh, the Pfizer. Yeah. There you go. I got J and J on two Friday. Last Friday. John was down there too. Who's that, Bill? Yes. Ah. One and done. Nursing home look right, Bill? Uh, yes. So I think we only just have to change this line, the surplus or reduce taxes line. Is that not correct? That is correct. But I did, I did have a, 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 just a question on how we lowered the budget by a million dollars, yet we're still having to use more surplus. That's what I, that's the question I had. I think it's because some, well, uh, the other revenue lines also got lowered. Okay. Uh, the jail line in particular. Yep. The grant lines. Okay. Yes, we did adjust those grant lines because they want six hundred thousand. Well, we could still move the water department income to, up to actuals. That would save us two thousand five hundred. I don't think yeah, it's no, material. We're not, not no, going to get into all that. So we'll take a harder look at it next year. Yep. A little more time. All right. Uh, the budget needs to be finalized. However, we need a reconsideration motion to look at the expenditures for the nursing home again to make an adjustment on one line. So okay. moved, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative McConkey. Representative Marsh, do we have that adjustment? Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Do you have it? I think we need to vote. We got a vote in the reconsideration yep. first. I just want to let everybody know what it was. But I will get that number. Uh, this is the reconsider at three hundred point uh, fifty one hundred. We reconsider the nursing home budget. Yes. Okay. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll on reconsideration. Uh, Representative Marsh. Yes. Representative Shays votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. There it is. Uh, yeah. Uh, Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnerick. Page seven. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Yeah. Is that McDonald's out of the room? Uh, Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Representative Smith. Yes. Chairman Avalani. Yes. Motion passes 12 to nothing. Thank you. Um, we had a transfer last week in the um, executive committee that we suggested that we could do it instead of a transfer, we could just make an adjustment to the nursing home budget. Uh, the motion is to increase, the motion will be to increase uh, 5100-029 to $6,030 and to decrease 5100-009 to 338-950. It will result in no change to the MVC bottom line previously approved of 11 million five eight three seven seven five. Representative Marsh. Mr. Chairman, I make that as a motion. Thank you. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative. Thank you, Representative Woodcock. The uh, purpose of the uh, fee the, of this motion is so that we can pay the person who's temporarily running the nursing home until there's a replacement for out. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Everybody clear on the uh, housekeeping item we have to do for instead of a transfer? Thank you. 
Do you have the motion? Yeah, it's on the email. Okay, good. That's your motion. Clerk, call the roll. Uh, Representative Marsh. Votes yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnert. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burrows. Yes. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Representative Smith. Yes. Chairman Avalani. Yes. The motion passes 12 to nothing. So we could take that. So you want to do the surplus for this taxes line? Yep, so that took care of the nursing home. The nursing home adjustment? Yep. Okay, we need a bottom line on the nursing home. We need to change the bottom line on the nursing home. We just need to reapprove it because we opened it. Oh. I thought it said it was previously approved. It is previously approved. However, we are under reconsideration, so we okay. should make sure that the Mr. final number is the same. Mr. Chairman, in that case, I move that we reapprove the nursing home bottom line. Uh, uh, in the 5100 section of $1,032,225. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative McConkey. Any questions on the bottom line? Clerk, call the roll. Yep, uh, Representative Marsh. Yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinark. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burrows. Yes. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Representative Smith. Yes. And Chairman Avalani. Yes. What was the bottom line number on that? One thirty-two two two five. One thirty-two two. Now you want to do this line. We got to reconsider the section or just approve the line? <clears throat> we just need to reconsider the motion to reconsider the other revenue section, which is section 9500. Thank you. Yep. Mr. Chairman, I move that we reconsider section 9500 of the revenue budget. Uh, actually, let's do the expenditures first. Oh, we need it for the bottom line of the yeah, expenditures? Bottom line of the expenditures first. Okay. Um, All right. In that case, Mr. Chairman, I'll move that we approve the final expenditure bottom line of $34,376,080. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative McConkey. Any questions on that new bottom line number? Okay, what are we reconsidering right now? Not 95 We're just right? reapproving the bottom line number of expenditures. Yep. Okay. We, we reconsider, right? We didn't change it. We, this is a different number than what we approved the other day. Okay. You can vote to reconsider it first. <sighs> yes, please. All right, Mr. Chairman, in that case, I'll change my motion to reconsider the bottom line number of the expenditures because we're giving you a number that's different from the number we had the other day. Yes. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Is that okay, Representative McConkey, for reconsideration? Uh, that is fine. Thank you. Thank you, Good Representative McConkey. Um, court call the roll on reconsideration. 
What are we reconsidering? Again? We're going to be considering the expenditures. The expenditure bottom line. Oh, for the entire budget? Yep. Okay. Representative Marsh. Yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnerick. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Representative Smith. Yes. Representative Smith? Is he still there? I do not see him there. Chairman Avalani. Yes. The motion passes 11 to nothing. Thank you. Representative Marsh. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve at this time what I tried to say before, the bottom line of expenditures of $34,376,080. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Second. Thank you, Representative McConkie. Any questions on the final number? Clerk, call the roll. Representative Marsh. Yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnerick. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Yeah. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Yeah. Representative McAleer. Yes. Yeah. And I assume Representative Smith. Representative Smith. And Chairman Avalani. Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. That is the final. That is the final vote on the expenditures for the 2021 budget. Um, looking for Mr. Uh, looking for a motion to reconsider the revenue line, revenue budget. So moved, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative McConkey. Any questions on reconsidering the revenue budget? Court call the roll. Yep, Representative Marsh. Votes yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Representative Cordelli. I think we lost him. He looks frozen. He looks frozen. Representative Crawford. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Cordelli. And, uh, guys, Representative Cordelli, Representative Cordelli is uh, back, unfrozen, so you can get his vote now. Yeah, I know. I, Representative Cordelli. I believe, yes, thank you. Yes, okay. Thank you, Representative yes. Kinnerk. Representative Kinnerk. Yeah. Yes. Representative McConkie. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Chairman Avalani. Yes. Motion passes 11 to nothing. Thank you. Representative Marsh. You want to do the surplus to reduce yep. taxes line? Two, four, Mr. eight, nine, zero, three, three. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I move that we amend the line item, the surplus to reduce taxes line item 9500.007 to two million four hundred eighty nine thousand thirty three dollars. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? 
Second. Thank you, Representative McConkie. Any discussion? Represent Question, please. Representative Woodcock. Thank you, Representative. Um, Representative Mark, can you tell me the, the change and difference in that, please? I'm sorry, could you just clarify that question, Representative Woodcock? I didn't understand it either. Okay, I'm just trying to find out if there is a change in the uh, amount of that uh, item from the previous approved budget. Yes, there is. It's a larger Can we have number. Can please? Uh, because it needed to be a larger number to make the budget balance. Follow up, please, Chair. Representative Whitcock. Thank you. Um, Bill, what's, what's the remaining percentage? I mean, what percentage are we taking on that? Uh, what's I, left? What's Either left? Way, I, I think it's close to 10%. I don't have that okay. figure in front of 12 me. 12 was last year? If there's somebody who has better information than Thank me, you. Thank you. that would be good. Yep, I don't have the uh, final numbers for the uh, last year's audit. This is what, what you're looking for. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just trying to find out what the difference is in percentage from one year to the other. That's all. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, you're welcome. Who, who had another question? Representative Cordelli. Representative Cordelli. Yes. What number was he looking for? It looks like he's looking for the, well, probably all looking for what was left in the uh, undesignated fund balance after we used the two, four, eight, nine. Correct. And how that compares percentage-wise last year. Yep. If I, if I could offer some information. Please, Representative Cordelli. Okay. The, um, the undesignated fund balance audited number for 2019 is 4,563,136. Based on the worksheets we got this weekend, the unaudited amount for 2020 is 1 million or 01223 for a total of 5 million nine six four three five nine. If we use two million four eight nine zero thirty three for tax reduction. It leaves us with an undesignated fund balance, unaudited, of three million four seven five three two six. Um, right ahead, Representative Woodcock. Uh, thank you. This is open to anybody. Glenn, are you the matter? Or this is I'm sorry, she's there. Does this fit into that uh, range parameter, that Glenn, that the uh, but the uh, this was the Normally kept. Uh, it is below that. Um, the uh, auditor, um, when she was last in, uh, uh, said that uh, two months should be maintained, um, but that the 1.5 that we were looking at, 1.5 months that we were looking at at that point, um, was okay. So we are. Um, uh, considerably below that at this point. Um, we are just above the uh, low policy number that I understand Wolfboro has of maintaining a 10% um, uh, undesignated fund balance, which is lower, lower than Molson Borough um, of 12% and uh, lower than the uh, two-month or three-month uh, figures that we've been given um, by the auditors and by the Government Finance Officers Association. Thank you. One more, Mr. Chair. Representative Woodcock. Just, just a question. Is this, thank you. Is this a, is this a, a good decision, uh, leaving ourselves more suspect of what we need here for uh, emergency when, when it's not the right number? I, 
I would think that increasing taxes at this point um, at the county level um, is an it, it isn't in the best interest of the taxpayers to use their surplus funds, which should go back to the taxpayers. This is a perfect use of it. Um, Ten percent is on the low end of what we should be withholding. However, three million plus dollars um, of taxpayer money just sitting there, um, we can definitely do better by retur returning more of it to them and holding a rainy day fund of at least 10 percent. Representative Marsh. Yes, Mr. Chairman, when I did the calculation, I took Representative Cordelli's figure and divided it by the uh, final revenue uh, line item that we just uh, approved, and that's 10.1 percent, which does slightly exceed what Wolfboro has held for a great many years as their percentage. Uh, that being said, that number does not include the money that we are anticipating from the federal government in the recently passed COVID relief bill, which does give money to uh, municipalities and counties and, and like us uh, to fund various projects. So we will have money at our disposal uh, should a need arise that would be off budget. So I, I personally am comfortable with this amount at this time. Thank you. You're welcome, Representative Woodcock. Any further questions on the adjustment to the surplus to reduce tax line? Treasurer Costello. Treasurer Costello, you have your hand up? Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Just wanted to point out, uh, while we're at just over 10%, which I'm comfortable with, <clears throat> perhaps one of the delegation members would give some consideration to a bill to uh, have the municipalities that collects the county tax money in the first half of the year to be turned over to the county in the first half of the year rather than wait till the end of December. That would considerably help the cash flow for the county. May not help the towns an awful lot, but um, this is something that's been ongoing for a period of time, and I think something that should be addressed. Thank you. You're welcome, Treasurer. Any further questions? Clerk, call the roll on adjusting that of that line item. Yep, uh, Representative Marsh. Votes yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. No. Representative Kinnerick. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Uh, Representative Woodcock. Yes. Representative McAleer. Yes. Chairman Avalani. Yes. Motion passes 10 to 1. Thank you. 2170716. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I would like to make a motion to approve the bottom line figure for general fund revenue, uh, general fund other revenue of $21,707,164. Thank you, Representative Marsh. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Representative McConkey. Any discussion? Clerk, call the roll. Representative Marsh. Votes yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnerick. Yes. Representative McConkey. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yes. Yeah. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Rep Representative Woodcock. Yes. 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 Representative McAleer. 
Yes. Chairman Avalani. Yes. Pass is 11 to nothing. Thank you. Just taking a look at something uh, real quickly. Uh, we have a motion to approve the minutes that were sent out the other day. That number matches this number that we have here for March 15th. Okay. That's what we loaded to. So yes. move. Oh, Thank you. Any discussion on the minutes? Yes, Chair. Uh, Representative Kennard. Yeah, it, I think it's a minor point. Yeah. I did have, uh, there was one thing that was missed in the discussion of the hearing on the uh, bond motion for the uh, uh, for deeds. Um, I had spoken to the fact that I, because I had previously spoken to wondering about digitizing, yeah. and I had spoken to retract that and clarify it because I wanted it to be clear that uh, at this point it is not a good thing for us to be doing. And I wanted, that, that was not included in the minutes. I, it's a minor point, because I'm not a member of the public. But I thought, you know, just given the fact that I'd stirred up the water once, I clarified the water and thought maybe it ought to be in there. That's all. I could add it to today's minutes, just clarification, if you like. That would be fine. Uh, Representative Kinnark, is it okay if it's added to today's minutes? Sure. Thank you for your understanding. Of course, yeah, and we can get it done. Yep, most certainly. Clerk, call the roll on the minutes. Any further discussion on the minutes? Clerk, call the roll. Representative Marsh. Yes. Representative Deshaies votes yes. Representative Cordelli. Yes. Representative Crawford. Yes. Representative Nelson. Yes. Representative Kinnark. Yes. Representative McConkey. Representative McConkey? I don't see him. We may have lost him. Yeah. Aye. Oh, hi. There he is. Aye. Representative Burroughs. Yeah. Representative Woodcock. Yes. Yeah. Representative McAleer. Yes. Representative Smith. Yes, I am back. I had some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Understandable. Chairman Avalani. Yes. Motion passes 12 to nothing. Thank you. All right. Revenue. Budget. Mel, did we miss anything? I don't believe so. I think you're good now. <laughs> Thank you. Any other business to come before the delegation? Representative, Mr. Chair? Rep Representative Cordelli. Thank you. Uh, looking at this budget um, compared to um, where we are from 2020, um, spending at the county is a major concern for me, and I, I want uh, uh, the commissioners to be aware that um, in 2019, the county spent $30.7 million. In 2020, they spent $34.5 million almost a $4 million increase in spending from one year to the next. I think that that is something that the uh, commissioners and the delegation have to pay very close attention to uh, in uh, 2021. Thank you, Representative Cordelli. I think the commissioners heard that loud and clear. Uh, any other business come before the delegation? Any public input? No, you say anything? No, there's no one on the chat. Nothing. 
Seeing none, we'll close the public input portion. Um, are we clear to adjourn or should we recess again? Because we can't come back if there's another issue. All eyes are right here. <laughs> I, I almost think we should recess just in case. Um, I will recess this meeting in case there, another issue comes up before the 31st. Um, as far as I am concerned, the budget has been completed and adjusted to for everything that needs to be done. Um, so I will just call another meeting at our next meeting and we'll go from there. Um, so again, we'll be in recess until the call of the chair. Thank you everyone again for your help and understanding and getting this, this budget done and the way it was done and we look forward to next year's being a little bit more smoother. Okay. Thank you everyone. 1.43 Thank p.m. Thanks for your good job. No problem. Thank you, Representative Kinnark. That was a good job. You're welcome, sir. It was a challenge. Certainly was.